Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Rebecca and I hope you're having a great, fantastic day. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna be trying on the very hyped, all over TikTok, the L'Oreal CC Anti-Redness Skin Enhancer. Now, this is very similar to the Kiko one I used to have, which was a BB cream, which those little beads, so when they burst on your skin, it adds a bit of color. And it's also similar to the Body Shop one as well, which sadly they're both discontinued. So when I saw this, I thought this was a great alternative. This has been going around for years and they still sell it from this day. So I'm gonna see what the hype is all about. I'm gonna chuck this on my face and I'm gonna let you guys know my honest thoughts about this. So if you guys can enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, please don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell so you get notified by every single makeup video I do here on this channel. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want to, link is in the description bar below. So if you guys wanna know my thoughts on the very overly hyped L'Oreal CC anti redness Skin Enhancer, just keep watching. Okay, let's try on the very overhyped, the L'Oreal CC Anti Redness Skin Enhancer. Now this has already been opened because this originally was owned by my friend and she didn't really like the fact it's a very light natural coverage. It wasn't enough coverage for her so she gave it to me. So thank you so much. I just cannot wait to try this. This retailed for $10.99 on the Superdrug website and the Boots website or sometimes you can get it on offer says on the back of it, a lightweight formula enhanced with smart pigments which transform or contact with skin. It helps conceal the appearance of redness while providing UV protection and 24 hour hydration. Weightless bare skin sensation for a perfect nude look, antioxidant, light to medium skin tones. So unfortunately this isn't designed for deep, which is a bit of a shame, they should have done this and then a deeper one. They do do the other CC ones, but it's not the one with the green on it. It's actually got like a skin tone color. I'm gonna pop this on my face. Hmm, doesn't really have much of a smell to it. So I'm just gonna apply it on. Don't know whether to rub this in with my fingers or not because it's more like a CC cream. Okay, the texture's a little bit runny, but it's not that runny. And it has got SPA 20 in it and it's got fig extract in it. Okay. Oh, I did prep my skin with an oil as well, by the way. So they should burst any moment now. Oh, 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 we've got something there. You can see it there. We have pigment. Just gonna grab my sponge just to sort of smoothen it out a little bit. I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see, but I feel like I'm still a bit green in some parts, like around here. I definitely still look a bit green. You can see that it definitely doesn't match my skin because you can see my neck color here and then my face. So this is definitely not for pale people. This is definitely more for like medium skin tones, I would say, because this definitely does not match me whatsoever so what i think of it so far well it's covering up places it doesn't look too dry it does look a bit uneven though i think it might be because of the green tint that's in it maybe i applied too much maybe i did but it has dried down really really fast it dried down very very fast so you can see it definitely looks natural on the skin I'm not gonna lie guys, I feel very matte with this. This definitely feels very matte and I did put an oil on my face as well. So I do feel extremely matte at the moment. Hmm. I'm gonna apply a little bit more, but I'm not gonna add as much. I'm only gonna do a little bit. Okay, I definitely didn't wanna blend it in with a sponge because just it will just suck it all up. So let's just do a tiny little bit more. Okay, there's definitely one thing I've noticed with this. I'm gonna zoom it in for you guys. It's not buildable at all, because you can see it's starting to come off a little bit of my face. And I do feel that the CC cream has set on my face, so it is definitely set. So once you put that one layer on your face, that's it, you can't build it up anymore. I'll just show you what it looks like on my skin here, on my cheeks. I 
let's see what happens if I use a beauty sponge on top of it. I know I'm adding layers of product, guys, but I just want to see what if tools would work better. So let's see if I can cover up this little patchy unevenness. So I'm going to go in with the sponge instead. No, if that's still taking it off. No, no, no. Oh dear. It's not particularly my favourite, unfortunately. Now, the L'Oreal Tinted Moisturising Sim, which I did a review on, I'll pop it on screen here. That's amazing. That's so, so good. That feels like there's nothing on your skin and I could build it up and it would still distribute beautifully on my skin and I absolutely love that. Okay, so I'm not going to say too much because I do want to leave my verdict to the very end. So I'm just going to apply my face products on and I'll let you guys know my thoughts on the very end. Okay guys, I've just done the rest of my makeup, my bronzer, blush and highlighter. So my thoughts on the L'Oreal CC Anti-Redness Skin Enhancer. Uh, it's not my favourite to be honest guys. Like the Kiko one and the Body Shop one I loved a lot more because that one was a lot more dewy on the skin. But this is a bit too matte for me unfortunately it's a little bit too matte and i did prep my face with an oil so maybe i'll have to play around with this a bit more maybe use mix it an oil with it or something just to kind of make it work but first impressions it's not particularly my favorite it's very matte and it did feel very dry on my skin the products were okay uh, the concealer went a very dry on top of the cc cream so i did notice how dry it went on top I'm used the Juvia's Place concealer. I know this one is a bit of a mattifying concealer, but I have used this on like a matte foundation before and it worked just fine. So yeah, the concealer was a bit more tougher to blend with this, but the rest of the other products went just fine. Sorry, I keep getting lipstick on my teeth all the time. So yeah, I'm gonna have to find other ways to make this work, maybe mix it in with an oil. That's the only thing I can say um but yeah unfortunately it's just not my favorite cc cream i'm afraid well so far anyway i really hope you guys have enjoyed this video today if you have please don't forget to give me a thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell so you get notified by every single makeup video i do here on this channel don't forget to follow me on instagram if you want to link is in the description bar below thank you guys so much for watching have a great day stay safe and i'll see you all in my next video Bye guys, take care.